morning everyone, welcome to another vlog. Um, I'm about to make my breakfast. I've started really enjoying a new breakfast. It's porridge with um, morello cherries, like frozen ones mixed in. And then what else do I do? Brazil nuts and honey, it's so nice. So I'm gonna make that in a second. But I thought I would just speak on the vlog because so far it's just been a montage. Um, Murphy's coming in. I think it's the beep of the camera, you know, I was thinking about this. Why does he come in every, <laughs> there he is. You're jumping up, come on big jump. Do you want help? Do you want help? Come in then. There you go. Yeah, I think it's the beep of the, he's just jumped down. He's just jumped down. You're really distracting, you know. You come back up again. <laughs> if he jumps down again. Um, yeah, so I think it's the beep of the camera that like, He's a bit funny about sounds. He doesn't like certain sounds, especially electronic sounds. Um, we have a coffee maker at my in-laws and the beep of it just absolutely sends him. So isn't it? He's a little bit of a wuss. He was terrified of the um, fireworks the other night. It was horrific. There was so many around here. It was literally like the big boomy ones every 10 seconds. So I had the TV up full blast. And I had a little, <laughs> I had a little bowl of peas because he loves peas. So every time he would get like over stressed, I would just give him a couple of peas to try and take his attention back onto something he likes. So that was pretty stressful. That was not fun. I feel like anyone with cats and dogs who are a bit nervous will agree with me that bonfire night is just not fun for us. <laughs> so, and then also as well, I was reading. Sorry, I feel like my brain is just not sticking to one topic. Um, I was reading about the effect on wildlife and the amount of animals that die, the amount of cats that go missing. And I just think, is there any point really? Can we not just like have one display in the countryside where it's, well actually no, because even that will affect wildlife. Anyway, doesn't matter. <laughs> so I'm gonna make my um, breakfast. I've got to start work soon. So I just thought I would um, quickly start the vlog and then I'm gonna be vlogging probably um, over the next couple of days. Oh, just quickly as well, we had a really exciting day yesterday. So, my garden has three levels. You might have seen it before. Um, and the bottom level is, it really goes like green and mouldy during this time of year. So, we had a quote yesterday to get it all redone. Let me just show you actually, so you can know what I mean. So, this is our bottom level here. And as you can see, there's mould there. And then that wall is horrific. So that little wall before I had um, fake ivy to kind of block it out and then also like a little room divider and I made it into like another little room. It looked really good, but then I kind of just felt like it looked messy. So what we're gonna have done is all of these stones are gonna be ripped up. All of the stairs are gonna be taken out and everything is gonna be replaced with Indian um, sandstone paving, so everywhere, all across, and then it goes all the way over to the other side of the house as well. So we'll have so much more space, it's gonna feel so much more clean. And then for the walls, we're gonna have that re-rendered, um, is that what it's called, Ren rendering? We're gonna have that rendered. <laughs> so it's just gonna be a really nice transformation. So that um, paving work starts next week, and we only got the quote yesterday, so I'm absolutely made up. So yeah, that's a little bit of a DIY. Di what am I talking about? It's not a DIY, we're getting a company in. <laughs> it's a little bit of a renovation project going on. So anyway, let's go to the kitchen and get mummy's breakfast because you've already had yours, haven't you? Let's make mummy's breakfast. Oh, you're so cute. Just quickly as well, before I make my breakfast, I have moved on to a new book. I've not started it yet, but this is, um, the next one I'm reading just because I know a lot of you seem to be interested in my reading at the moment so I thought I would keep up updating you um so this despite me saying the last thriller book I read left me traumatized I decided to get another one and this one is about a murder so hopefully not too traumatizing but it does look quite scary <laughs> So we'll see how we get on with that. I did finish um, the other sequel, um, not the other sequel, the one sequel to It Ends With Us, um, the one called It Starts With Us, and it was definitely a lot lighter. It wasn't as heavy, so I enjoyed that. Um, anyway, I am hungry now, so breakfast time. <laughs>
toy. <laughs> what have you got there? Oh, he said, don't take it, Mum, it's mine. Does anyone else's dog do this, like, little parading thing? Like, once he's eaten and been in the toilet and then had a little rest, he'll pick up one of his toys and just trot around the house with it. Are you going to show them me parading or are you just going to look at me? You good boy. Go on, do your parade. Don't let me interrupt you. Go on. <laughs> on he goes. I was just eating my porridge. And sometimes when I vlog these days, because I've edited quite a few videos now, and sometimes I use the same music, I like imagine myself editing like the clip and I get the song stuck in my head. So I've got that one stuck. If you watch my channel, you'll probably know it. And it's like, um, my past relationship was a disaster. <laughs> it's really American and I can't stop saying disaster. <laughs> And it's like, you took, it's actually a really good song. My scars, Murphy's looking at me like, what are you doing, mum? and broken parts, <laughs> numbed all the pain. And it's really in my head. But then, like, when you actually listen to the lyrics, they're a bit, they're just a bit depressing. Well, actually, no, it's, it's nice. It's like, you, my past relationship was a disaster and you fixed it all and but it's not really relevant to homemaking is it so i don't know why i choose them they're just nice tunes anyway murphy's like mum will you shut up and stop singing please i don't actually need to um do work now because i'm technically logged on so back to my desk i go because my manager is also my best friend and she watches these videos so if you're watching leah <laughs> sorry back to work now <laughs> interrupting my cleaning sesh because I'm just waiting for my hoover to charge up I forgot to charge it after the last time I used it um two things first of all I love this song and I just wanted to share it with anyone because I thought off the off chance one of my subscribers is getting married it's such a nice song it's called lost without you by Tim Gallagher and it's really romantic and it makes me cry so I just thought I'd pass that on <laughs> 
Um, also, I mentioned on my Instagram story, oh, one minute, can't get comfortable. Let me pull these sleeves down because they're all bunched up. There we go. I mentioned on my Instagram story that I'm so bad at self-promotion and like marketing myself. So last week I scheduled my vlog to go up live on the Sunday morning, wake up on Sunday morning, reading in bed for ages, loving life. I think it went up at about 10 and it was one o'clock when I realised, oh, <laughs> my video's just gone up and I've not posted about it. So I'm really, really bad at marketing myself. Um, it's a very good job I don't do this. YouTube malarkey as a full-time job because I just won't make any money because I'm just terrible at it um but anyway I thought I would say that I am planning on uploading on Sunday mornings every week um yeah so just so you know when to expect videos from me just because there will be most of the times I will forget they've even gone up so I just thought I'd let you know <laughs> and also talking of self-promotion some of you might remember I did a homemaking shop on my website um I started it was it last year I think it was last year um but my Wix website in the end was just too expensive to run um so I reverted it to like the free version and then you get like a stupid domain where it's like Hattie Homemaking Wix dot loads of letters and stuff where people just won't be able to find it so instead I have put my things on Etsy so if you are still interested in my homemaking things I've added a, cute, a few extra things on there now as well and um, I know loads of people loved the homemaker embroidered sweatshirt so I've kept that on there I've also made that in a t-shirt and like a sweatshirt dress thing actually let me get up my Etsy store and I will show you it okay so this is my Etsy store so as you can see I've had one sale <laughs> I was absolutely made up about it that was my digital print someone called Debbie bought that so thank you Debbie um and then these are the items I'm selling so it's all the same as what was on my website still got that sweatshirt so many people loved the embroidered homemaker sweatshirt and I wear mine all the time it's so soft and it's washed so well and actually I was worried about it being white but it stayed really really clean um I've also got the homemaker necklace the mugs I've got some prints um, I've added a couple more t-shirts, a hoodie dress, um, another homemaker jewellery, it's like a bracelet. Um, and yeah, that's everything. So I'll probably add to it as I go as well. So I'll probably just see what ends up being the most popular. But if you are looking to um, treat yourself to anything or want any of this for Christmas, then um, yeah pass on the message to whoever you love <laughs> and yeah I know I genuinely will really appreciate anyone who buys anything because it's my, like my little baby I can't believe I've set up this little shop I feel so proud of myself I just thought I'd show you my lunch because I feel like I'm eating the coziest food today so I've got a jacket potato beans and cheese which is like a winter essential and then we've got this salad we make it a lot in our family this one is actually from my mother-in-law and she makes it the best it's got cucumber, peppers, spring onion, um, what else has it got? It's got all sorts in it. And then the dressing is just a little bit of mango chutney and then a tiny bit of lime pickle. And it's really nice and it goes with stuff like this. So I'm looking forward to this. Hello everyone. So it's a couple of days later now. Um, I'm just about to walk through my kitchen and it's a bit of a mess. So if you could just blur background blur background blur background <laughs> um so i've just been to uh, my gym induction and i've done my first little workout so i'm feeling really proud of myself because that's something that just makes me really nervous is gyms in general but especially the first time going and just feeling a bit unsure on machines and everything and it went really well i just did some Oh, I'm out of breath, that doesn't bode well, does it? <laughs> um, no, it went really well. I just did a lot of light things. A lot of things I was like more comfortable with, like a lot of the more sitting down machine-y stuff I did. And then I also then went down to reception and I asked for them to write all the swimming times down for me. And I went and had a little look at um, like how it works, the lockers, where you get changed and all that because I just worry about 
all that like little stuff it's not the bit it's not like when I'm actually doing it like once I'm in the pool I'm absolutely fine once I'm in the gym and I'm sat and I'm doing the exercise then I'm absolutely fine it's just I don't know what it is it's just getting there I feel like I feel I, I'm more paranoid about people watching me and me doing something stupid <laughs> so I'm feeling really proud of myself about that because now I will know what I'm doing I did post on my Instagram story about how nervous I was and I got a lot of people saying they are the exact same way um, and someone shared a really good tip just to break it down into smaller chunks so they suggested um, for going to look at the swimming area before actually swimming um, and that was such a good tip I feel like that because now when I do go swimming it's taken out of all that worry of where do I go where do I put my stuff I just know how it all works now so I'm feeling I'm feeling good about that so yeah just wanted to update you on that and then Murphy is going for his groom this afternoon so I'm about to take him there so I thought I would show you his little before and after he's fast asleep at the moment actually if anyone is interested let me just show you this so um my friend recommended this for Murphy it is hemp oil and this is what it looks like it's like that um and it's really good for joints and um why I got it for Murphy is sorry if this is making you dizzy how much I'm moving about um it's really good for anxiety so I mean so far I think it's working for Murphy look at him actually that is a point when I turned on the camera it usually jumps all over me but I really feel I really feel like he's more chilled you sleepy <laughs> it's hard to tell with Murphy because he's very sleepy anyway like he's a very sleepy pup I'm very chilled the only time he's anxious is if someone comes to the door or if he hates like um electronical noises so that will be a test and I suppose today will be a test as well he doesn't like getting his nails done do you Murphy don't get me get your nails done at the vet not the vet sorry the groomers the vet did them last time because I was worried they're a bit too long anyway so this is his before <laughs> and I will show you his after once he's been done it's a new groomers so I'm really hoping they're not just gonna like shave him because you hear some horror stories don't you Murphy do you look gorgeous this is Murphy's after should I show them a little bow don't you look handsome oh look at him oh he's scared he wants me to pick him up I'll just turn you around actually <laughs> and then I can talk to you look at him so he's back from his groom looking a lot more dapper <laughs> um i don't quite like it as much as his other groom does him his other groomer keeps him a little bit longer look at him tell you what though he does smell absolutely incredible they've put some sort of perfume on him so um yeah but i think once his other groomer is back from maternity we'll probably go back to her but then just go to these people for now just to keep him fresh and healthy. You alright, Murphy? Do you want the toilet? What are you doing? What's he doing? Are you taking yourself off? Hey, what are you doing? You're looking for your food. Is that what you want? No, <laughs> look at me. You look so cute. I can't even cope with you sometimes. Do you know that? So I think I'm actually going to sign off this vlog here. Come on, big jump. Come on. Well done. Yeah, I'm going to sign off this vlog now just gonna make some dinner I think I'm gonna make a Thai chicken curry out of the um, blue dragon dragon it's like a packet so they give you like the curry paste and coconut milk and then you just add chicken and veggies to it and make your own rice so I'm gonna do that I'm feeling quite tired now actually <laughs> first day back at the gym it's gonna hit me tomorrow like my legs are gonna I can already tell my legs are gonna feel very wobbly so Yes, I'm going to sign off this vlog. Hope you've enjoyed another vlog. I've enjoyed filming it and I will see you in my next one.